Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know if you're familiar with this kind of old stories when we were children, you know, or we were in school or in kindergarten. Uh, we used to be told or read about those dragons from ancient times that had two or three heads and they were fighting the mighty, you know, uh, warrior and all that. Remember? Well, what happened when the mighty, I don't know, uh, knight would cut one of the heads of the uh, dragon. Yes, exactly. The head would grow back up immediately. So when you cut one head, grows back up. That's exactly what happens right now, it seems like, with Soros, George Soros empire. One head is cut off because of the age. Nobody cut it off. Just, you know, yeah, cannot do it anymore. Someone else took, takes a torch and goes forward. We'll find out if this guy, his son, one of his sons, um, will continue his uh, legacy, which is uh, changing uh, the world in a certain way with an open society and uh, so-called, and uh, promoting all kind of garbage, in my assessment, and interfering in other countries' uh, cultures and traditions and political uh, affairs. So what happens now? We have uh, one of the knights, old knights with his knight sword right there fighting this guy and that is Viktor Orban fighting the dragon uh, Viktor Orban the Prime Minister of Hungary well Putin was one of them and he was actually the first one who cut started cutting heads and the dragon just backed off back into his little cave in the United States of America now Orban not now because Orban a few years ago uh, did certain things to Mr. Uh, Soros and then all hell broke loose the dragon came fought and was pushed back again in a cave in the United States of America and again now grew more heads and comes to attack again um, Hungary or at least attacks it to Brussels obviously so this is what uh, Orban has to say about it Sputnik this is from today, June 18th, 2023. Hungarian Prime Minister Orban slams EU's newly adopted migrant reception quotas. Here is Mr. Orban. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban on, sa on Sunday slammed the European Union's newly adopted quotas for the equitable, equitable, I like that word. Take from some and give to others. That's equity for me. Resettlements of migrants from the Middle East and across the Mediterranean Sea in EU member states and make them uh, finish in the same time by uh, stopping someone from uh, doing whatever he needs to do and give it a chance to the other one to catch up. Now, this is what Mr. Orban, Orban said or uh, tweeted. And I'm quoting, Brussels is calling for mandatory migrant quotas once again. The Soros empire strikes back, Orban tweeted. In early June, the European Commission adopted a new action plan on combating illegal sea migration under which it would speed up the redistribution of irregular, oh, that's how is the new word, euphemism, irregular migrants ac across all of the EU, so irregular, not illegal, irregular. You got that in your vocabulary from now on? Because that's what they do. You can call someone this, you have to call him that. Because, uh, you know, you can call them fat, you call them big. You call them, call them now this and that. I can't use it, I'm mean, new too, but you, you got the point. Ir irregular migrants across all of the EU to ease the burden of frontline member states. Not all European Union member states are ready to accept migrants under quotas. However, that means they are really, really, really extremists and they do not have European values, basically. Europe has been experiencing a major migrant crisis since, what was the word? Ir irregular, right? Ir oh, we have illegal here. Oh, oh my God, in irregular. Well, they do it step by step, uh, you know, toddler, baby, baby steps. Or well, babies don't take steps, but anyway, child steps, toddler steps, kid step. Europe has been experiencing a major migrant crisis since 2015 due to the influx of thousands of refugees from Middle East, Eastern and Northern African countries. Migrants have been trying to reach EU states using various routes, including via Italy, Greece, Turkey and the Balkans. The point is here, the Soros Empire 
strikes back. He's not, he's not an idiot, obviously. He hasn't been and he's not going to be. So, the dragon comes back with more heads. Who's going to cut them? Or at least I hope that Hungary is going to continue to defend itself. And I know someone else because this guy is going to be partners in fighting uh, the dragon. You know who that is? Yeah, Poland. Poland, which is uh, the American Trojan horse in Europe, my assessment. Uh, why? Because they do what the Americans tell them more than the European Union. And obviously the Americans tell the European Union what to do, but they at least try to... Uh, Sometimes they get in a conflict, European Union, with the Poles, because the Poles are not uh, pushing the Brussels perverted uh, agenda into their country, culture and traditions. Therefore, they're not going to give them money. That's how it works. You change that, you sell your mommy, here is the money. From now on, you're going to consider that like that, here is the money. You don't consider it, we're going to keep the money here, we're going to give it to Romania, because Romania is going to every time we give it to Romania. Romania is gonna up, jump on it. Romania is gonna get the money, not you. That's why you have to be self-reliant. Don't rely on anybody else as much as you can. Keep an, uh, an open door to uh, all countries in the world that do not harm you, obviously. But, you know, that's the way it is, my friends. So, Orban sees the Soros empire perpetuating. Put up, put up, put up, put up. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.